Sims mowers here on this Sunday morning. We are doing zero turn maintenance on a fair, a fair 700. We're going to be changing the engine oil, adding to the hydraulic oil, changing the oil and air filters, and sharpening our blades. We will see you very soon. We're going to take you around the machine. This is a 52 inch mower deck. These are your lap bars and your parking brake here. This is your deck pedal where you adjust your mower deck. Over here, this is your key. You turn it to the to the right to start. This is this is your choke here. This is your throttle, and that's the turn. This is an electric PTO, so you turn your blades on that way. Let's go ahead and get started. A tip here, you have to let your engine oil warm up for faster draining. He's just letting it warm up and we got that pan we're going to release a drain tube to pour the oil into. Okay, he's taking this drain plug off. What's that size wrench you're using? It's an 11 sixteenths and a 5 eighths, I believe here. 11 sixteenths and a 5 eighths wrench. I'm just gonna crack it loose. I'm gonna roll this pan underneath. Got a watcher right here by the muffler that's hot. <clears throat> and it looks like it's gonna drain down on this uh Make sure you don't plate. Yep, make sure you don't spill oil on your on your equipment here. Let it drain out. And I hear it dripping. Oh yeah. There we go. Ultra service right now. The oil has been draining. These two screws right here, they're like butterfly nuts. You just screw them up and then this cover lifts off. This is your filter and there's a spring-loaded clip. You just ease it off. And then this is a cartridge filter. You just slide it right out. And we have our air compressor here. And what I like to do, I take this, this main filter off. This is the outer filter and then there's an inside filter. They're not that bad. We can blow them off and reuse them one more year. I'm gonna blow our debris outside. I get my tip inside the filter. And I just blow everything out. But I, I blow from the inside that way I don't compact the debris into the paper. And with the outer filter, I, I blow it off and get the debris out of the paper. Now I judge if I can see debris in here, this filter is bad, or the daylight coming through there, and it's a cloudy day. But, uh,. Yeah, if you can see daylight coming in through the filter, just like there, it picks it up pretty good. You know, especially like you said, with how cloudy it is, that thing's perfectly fine. Just do a service on it. Yep. New machine as of last year. And we're just doing a routine maintenance. This is all routine stuff. I got two quarts of Kawasaki oil. This is a Briggs engine that's on the mower, but this is basically the same stuff. Now that this oil filter, this is a short Briggs and Stratton oil filter. Now, I just mentioned this was a brand new machine as of last year, and obviously there's still a warranty on it. If you don't use the Briggs and Stratton oil filter, and something goes wrong with your engine during the warranty, you're out of luck. It voids the warranty. Now we're using these spark plugs, auto auto light spark plugs. And then there's an, a fuel filter that we're going to use. So just stay tuned. Auto light spark plugs. There's only two sizes that are ever used for spark plugs, and that is American sizes 5 8 and 13 16. On this zero turn, if you've 
For those of you who have never serviced a mower, especially a V-twin mower, the spark plugs are in the side of the cylinder. There we got our old one. And that old one looks pretty crappy, but these new ones, you'll see all the polished threading. Change. You want to start by hand. And our hole is right here. You always start by hand, that way you don't take a chance on stripping your block threads because this is a brand new mower too and you could you could void the warranty on the engine or or totally destroy the head. Now this is a 5.8 like I previously mentioned. I just slip it on and I, I only go just tight enough. I don't fully go, I don't go commando and Tighten it down to where I can't tighten it anymore. <laughs> now this is your boot wire coming off of your engine coil. And I just slip it on the tip of the plug. There we go. Good to go. Yep. Hydraulic fluid top off. We are using Valvoline 20W50. And these are our tanks. Now on these tanks there's a cold and a hot line. We're filling up to the cold because it is a little cold. Now note that you don't want to get these too full because when this machine is hot and you're running it, it'll be it could start spitting oil out of the system. So just be mindful of that. And be mindful also not to lose these caps. I like how these have a cup holder so I can set those down in. And then when I get ready, I just put it back on the machine. Yeah. You just grip these thread at the end of this filter with this big pair of channel locks or a filter wrench. For these, you probably want to use these big channel locks like I am. And you just get down in there. You don't go too rough at it. You just twist it to the left like any other screw. And then when I twist this off by hand, there's going to be oil, but we got a pan ready to catch it. And there's a hole down in the frame that'll let it drain off. You see, I'm just spinning it off and getting dirty, really dirty, <laughs> and she's off. The brand new filter. I want to make sure there's no debris in there, and it comes with a plastic top. I already pulled it off for the sake of time. And I just slip it back down in here until I find that thread. And I just start spinning it on by hand. It's just like a spark plug. You don't want to strip that. I've done it before. And it was a disaster. So I've already threaded the oil filter back on. Some tips: you're not, you're going to want to make sure all the threads are going on smoothly. That way, you don't strip this. I've done that before. It was a disaster. So you just tighten it, and you do it all by hand. But you're not going to want to tighten that up too much either. And then. Yeah, you're going to get some oil on you, so don't be afraid. Just get a rag and it comes right off to go down or it's or it's going to be a disaster and it's going to spill. And you pour slowly so that it can go down in there easily. And it's going to take a little bit of time, but it will get there. And you just finish that off. And give it a, probably about a minute or a minute and a half, and it should be done in the fuel filter. I'm going to take these uh, pliers and back this clamp off this. I guess I didn't need to. But, and then i got to be careful because you can hit your hand getting this line out. And you want to pull that off slowly. And you just put it right down the pan down. Oh, that in the pan because we're getting rid of it anyway. You got the other. Okay, now note that this is a directional filter. There's an arrow on that filter, and wherever that arrow is pointing, you put that side down towards the engine. So it's going to go into this tube here. And I'm going and we didn't have any fuel spill because this has a fuel pump, so it's shut off. And I'm going to take this clamp, slide it up on there so that this is nice and tight. I'm going to grab my tube from the other side. Just 
slip that on there. Do the same thing. I want to make sure these clamps are tight. That way you're not gushing fuel out of your gas tank. You don't want to go on too tight because these, is, these are plastic and you can break them easily. All right. Now for the mower deck, the greasing part. We're using a grease gun and there's two spindles. Or there's a few spindles actually. And some deck linkages that we have to grease. And we just come in under the fuel tank and grease that up. And then there's one on the other side. Now I'm yep. going to take this cover off and you just turn this big butterfly nut to the, to the left. You pull this up like a door and then it's hinged. You just slide it out. Set it over here. Where's that uh, grease go? I'll see it. Now since this is a brand new mower, you're not going to use too much of this stuff. I'm going to get on this uh, right up in here. Okay, good. Yep. Then I'll do this other one while I'm it's under over here. Uh oh, well, I gotta come from that other side. Right, right here, bud. Oh, this one? Mm hmm. Right there in that center. I just shoot it. Just one shot. Mm -hmm. I don't need much, but you do need to grease this thing at least every year because if you have a zero turn, you're doing a lot of mowing. That's just all there is to it. Now I'm going to put it back together and we didn't forget any linkages. You want to do this carefully. You want to make sure these that camera focusing on these uh, pins here. Yep. Just slide it in there. Let me show them again real quick. Just slide it in there. And then it'll line right up with, that, with this uh, stud here. And sometimes it takes a little bit of fighting and then you just get this on, you want to make sure all your threads are going on smoothly. Air pressure in the back, it's going to be 12 to 15 pounds. And then what about up front? What uh, are we? 20 on the ones up front there. Yeah, you're going to want to do that. We're getting ready to sharpen our blades, so we just use a, a regular car floor jack. Now you must use a jack stand if you do this. That's always for protection on cars and mowers. He's got a 15 16 socket on an air gun. Now I must say this, when you're using an air gun, you have to use a black socket. Otherwise you could damage chrome sockets and, and it's unsafe. So uh, these blades are pretty much brand new. So uh, we do have a heavy duty like professional uh, machine that sharpens them. But I'm just going to touch these up with the angle grinder real quick. You want to make sure you're always wearing safety goggles and uh, ear protection when you're running a grinder like this. But I'll just do a quick one swipe along the back here on both sides. And then I'll dress this up here real quick. So we'll go ahead. actually don't want to get your blades razor sharp because when these things are spinning on these commercial mowers they're actually breaking the sound barrier I believe like it, they're going incredibly fast but um, if you have it down to a very very fine point where it's you know can just slice your finger open and stuff Ooh. what will actually happen is these things are going so fast that that tip will actually roll over because these things are spinning so fast they have so much force so you actually don't want to make it that sharp you know you can either just not make it that sharp or if you want sometimes I'll even make them really sharp and I'll just do one quick swipe with the grinder just to kind of give it a little bit of a flat spot because like I said if if you make it too thin right there and too sharp it'll just roll over and then it's gonna cut even worse than uh, you know a doll blade or something like that oh that's crazy but okay thank you Yes, we do come all the way over here, but the, but the unbelievable fact is that 
a lot of the great majority of your cutting like he said 98 percent is done with the first two inches since you're going so fast it's these first two inches is it's going to chop all that grass up and either spit it out or bag it up however you get rid of it but that's just how it works same thing over here too and we did this with all the this is three blades we did it with everything yeah the first uh about the first two inches there is what's going to really do the majority of your cutting sorry i'm trying to do camera and the uh, measuring tape here so that's what's most important right there before we put our blades back on i have something called fluid film this is a rust prevention agent he's going to spray it on this mower deck inside the mower deck because that's where it starts to rust at because the moisture in the grass it's there and it and eventually it starts eating through that metal this is probably about twelve dollars a bottle at places but if you get it on Amazon and you get like a six pack you could probably get it for half that so just consider that the mower servicing is done we changed all we topped off and changed the, the hydraulic oil we Change the engine oil completely, new new oil, new oil filter, clean the air filter, we sharpen the blades up, clean those up, sprayed that film under the deck, and we greased the uh, spindles. I didn't include it, but I did we did grease the caster oil spindles on the front. Now we're going to this little coin car wash to spray it down and deliver it back to its owner. <laughs> 